Okay, so I have a question for those of you who are better informed than me, which is everybody. I'm reading um, Sora 2, the cow, verse 214, and it says, Do you think you will be admitted into paradise without being tested like those before you? They were afflicted with suffering and adversity and were so violently shaken that even the messenger and the believers with him cried out, When will God's help come? Indeed, God's help is always near. Okay, so I guess my question is, if God knows everything and is all-knowing, why does he put people through tests? Why all that suffering if he is already all-knowing and knows who will come out as a true believer and who won't? I guess that's confusing to me. And I was hoping someone could help me understand it a little bit better. Allah also says in the Quran that verily I will not change the fate of a nation until its people do something what is within themselves. When Allah says God's help is near, God help, God's help is just for you to go and get it. Okay, You don't get fruits that God just sent down from the sky. You need to do things, you need to work it, you need to plant, and the tree comes up, grows, you water, you fertilize, you put pesticides, and you get the fruit eventually. You work for it, that is an element of resources, element of focus and energy, element of hope, and element of time. And therefore, that develops into fruits, and you get fruits. So the same rhetoric question can be asked, why does God require you to plant the tree and wait so long and sometimes you lose the tree due to pesticide or uh, uh, due to pest or due to uh, nature and I uh, you know sometimes you don't get fruit, why can't he just give you the fruit? So uh, you can ask that question but we don't right because we just do the right thing, we plant, we have our produce. So likewise when Allah says do you think you will not be tested? You can't just say that I believe in Allah, I, I subscribe to Islam or whatever. Uh, words are cheap. Uh, in the Quran, uh, Surah Al-Munafikun, Allah says, O oh, you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? Verily such is most detestable to your Lord. Maknanya cakap tak suka tak suka bikin. Why you say something else but you do something else? So that resides in Surah Al Munafikun, which is the hypocrites Munafik. So when you say something but you do something else, you don't do as you say. You are a Munafik. That Munafik is also tested. Okay, and that is the most detestable. So when you are a munafik, you don't expect God's help. God does not help munafiks. So therefore, human beings are given freedom of choice. We can choose to go left or go right. We can choose right or wrong. So we know what we have to do and we will be tested. Now, if we that test is in the form of Allah's design of the universe, He designs that. So there can be many rhetoric questions we can ask. Why can Allah just create humans? Why do couples need to copulate, uh, need to reproduce, and thereafter, uh, you know, fertilize the woman's eggs, and therefore uh, uh, develop into zygote embryos, and it develops over nine months of labor, of everything, nine months, and then only you have baby, and sometimes the baby dies, sometimes the mother dies, sometimes the baby comes out. Uh, uh, invalid uh, uh, cacat that can happen right so why do you not ask the rhetoric question why does it take 9 months for baby to be produced but now you ask every parent every mother, every father do they want just to click Lazada and Shopee and the baby comes that may look like them or they want the experience the pain, the joy of the pregnancy. So now you ask again, does Allah need nine months to create a human being? 
or you, that nine months is required for you to develop the bond, the love, and to be prepared to receive the baby. There is grace in all of Allah's creation. If you don't understand that, you will be asking this sort of a question. And I, I don't know whether this voice note can reach this woman, uh, but uh, this is asking everyone who claims to be the chosen one, uh, that I will be uh, the dwellers of heaven, others will be uh, the uh, dwellers of hell. So Allah asks, have you taken promise from me that you'll be admitted to my gardens? Uh, so Allah is asking the Jews, Allah is asking the Muslims, Allah is asking the Christians. Uh, just because you say you believe, you can't say you believe. You can't just pledge that you believe. You have to manifest your belief. You have to manifest that you, uh, whatever you say, that God is the only uh, deity, uh, that your only uh, uh, place of worship, that you depend only on Allah and you follow whatever He prohibits, uh, you follow whatever He ordains. By conforming fully to His design, what is His design? Everything that works. Everything that works is Allah's design. Uh, you plant a tree, you plant plants, it produces. You rear, you go to, uh, you do fishing, you rear uh, livestock, you get things. You work hard, you get, uh, uh, you yield returns. You know, that all the right things that you do. You use fire the right way, it cooks food for you, it warms your house. You use it the wrong way, it destroys you. Water is the same. So again, conforming to God's design. Some things are simple, some things are divine that requires divine guidance. Therefore, what are you what 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 am I trying to uh, say now? Allah's mercy and blessing is in his design. Going against that leads to suffering. So therefore, whatever suffering and whatever bad things is because we deviated from the design. Indeed, Allah knows who's gonna deviate, and whatever we do that uh, it results in calamities to us is our own doing and that serves as a lesson to us and to others who sees. Others have a choice thereafter to decide whether to follow our footsteps towards destruction or to do the right thing to conform to the design of the Almighty and receive His blessings. So therefore, He doesn't wait for there to be inflicted uh, you know, pain and everything and God's help is near. No, it's for you to go and get it. The variable is us. Allah is the constant. His design is the constant. Follow the design, conform to the design, you get the blessings. Go against it, you feel pain. Hope that clarifies. Assalamualaikum. If you have any interesting ideas that can help build a better Malaysia, please put them in the comment section. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Uh, the subscription is free, you don't have to pay money. And we don't, you know, uh, YouTube doesn't give us your information. So there's no list of uh, subscribers. I just know the number of subscribers, but no information about who the subscribers are. And um, we are not monetized, so there's no advertisements. When you click on our videos, you straight away uh, watch our videos. You don't have to see annoying ads. Anyway, now please subscribe if you haven't done so. And please share our videos uh, far and wide. Terima kasih. Wassalam. resonated with you be sure to like it share it with your friends leave a comment and as always don't forget to subscribe